shower so let's just ignore that for the remainder of this video uh, okay what to update you on today was actually kind of uneventful I guess because like I kind of stayed home from school <clears throat> <clears throat> not because I'm sick actually I mean sort of if you can count like feeling exhausted as being sick I guess like I went to bed at maybe 10 30 last night I don't, well, I fell asleep. I don't really go to bed that early. I just lie down and I'm like, I'm gonna wake up later. It'll be fine. And then I just end up not. So I woke up at like 7.30 and I was already late for school. So I kind of just whined to my mother and I was like, I'm so tired. I just want to sleep. And she was all concerned, like, you need sleep. And I think it was just the four hours of sleep and constant caffeine, like for the last month and a half, kind of catching up with me. Apparently sleep is kind of important to the body. So I guess today was like a recharge day. I just laid in bed until 12 or something. It was so beautiful. Oh my god. Just laid there and didn't do things and it was amazing. And then I got up and I had some banana bread. Oh my god. We made the best banana bread. Um, I had a sleepover on Saturday and so we like made this banana bread recipe and then I did some more last night and it was like even better than the first time and it was so good. Um, and then I should have gotten work done, but then I just didn't. I mean, I went for a run, so that definitely counts. I think that should count for a lot. Two miles, man. I do things with my life, and it's great. Um, and then I was supposed to work on Northwestern. I think I need to, like, I actually need to do that tonight. I need to get that done. Tonight. Because, like, Friday. And I need to have the college counselor look at it. I mean, do I even care that much at this point? I feel like I should at least make it kind of good. Because I don't know if I want to even go there at this point, but I might as well, like, make it a half decent attempt, you know? I'm actually wondering if I should regular or early decision. Because, like, I don't know. I feel like if I early decision, I'm just going to end up pulling my app. Because early decision is so binding, and that kind of scares me. Because if I get in, I'm not really sure if I'm going to commit. And so with that in mind, I'm going to end up pulling my app early if I do that. But if I regular decision, then it's like the option is still there and it's like I have more time to make up my mind. But then there's the whole issue, like the whole reason I was early decisioning was because I liked my chances better early decisioning. I don't know if I'll get in regular decision. So now this is just an issue. And I don't know what to do. I feel like I should have a talk with my college counselor, but assuming there's like 48 hours until the deadline, huh, I'm so behind on things. Dude, medals is actually making me want to cry. I don't know why I joined conservatory, I actually want to cry. You know how you, in your video like last week, how you were really upset over your film thing and you were like, I don't know, I just don't feel good at this and it sucks to feel that way? Yeah. Yeah. I feel the exact same way because I'm really good at medals. Like, Technique wise, I can execute things and I am a perfectionist and I like to get things really high quality and like very polished and nice But it's like I can't do that unless you give me a blueprint And that's the thing a lot of people in the metal studio like some of them sure they don't like you know Take the time to make sure their work is super super high quality, but they have really good ideas like they can just crank out designs like it's no big deal and maybe it's like the the theme I chose for my portfolio, but I am just not good at this. Like, I think of myself as a creative person. I'm good at writing. I can think of arguments and, you know, I like poetry and I love art. Maybe I'm just not good at, like, making it. You know what I mean? Like, people are so good with designs and I can do great things if you give me an exact blueprint. But if you ask me to think up that blueprint on my own, it's like, oh my god, what am I doing? I don't know. I just don't even know. See, this is why I want to go into art history and not art and design. Because I do enjoy making art, but I don't want to like live off of my own art. I would end up being an actual starving artist. I want to just study other people's art because I really enjoy beautiful art, but I don't think that I am the one necessarily who would be producing that. Because like I'm good, but it's all about like the spark and creativity. And I feel like it doesn't bring me as much joy to think up these things. Like. I don't know. It bothers me. 
It bothers me not being good at something. Does that sound like bratty at all? I don't know. I'm just kind of used to being good at what I do, and this is not exactly one of them. And the fact that it's art pisses me off. Like, I should be good at this. I really should, because I'm like an artsy person, but I don't know what the deal is. <sighs> but I guess to my metals teacher, it doesn't matter whatever internal conflicts I'm having, because I just need to get shit out by scholastics, and that is not what I'm doing right now, and holy crap. I'm just, I'm so stressed. It's stressing me out more than academics, because with academics, I know I can get my ideal together. Like, you know, I do well in school, and sometimes I end up with a B, but it's like one or two Bs isn't the end of the world, and I always know that I'm going to pull it off in the end, you know? Like, even if I'm not exactly on my game, like right now, I know that in the end, I always manage to pull it together. But I don't know if that's going to happen for medals. Like, oh my god. Oh my god, why did I do this to myself? Why? Like, I used to really enjoy art. When I just had regular medals class, like, no conservatory, no deadlines, I was like, I really enjoyed it, because you can do the projects and you can make art for you. Like, that's the reason I really enjoy medals, because I can make things I can wear, and I love wearing the things I make. And now, it's like, nope, can't do that. Because when you're doing things for Scholastics, basically the rule is, the weirder, the more abstract, the more impractical the design, the higher the award. Like, you can never make something that's actually wearable. God forbid, like, it could actually be used as functional jewelry. No, we gotta be all, like, hipster and out there and statement jewelry. And it, God, it even pisses me off sometimes. I'm just not feeling it right now. Maybe I'll just, like, I need to stop worrying about how good my designs are. People in the studio just, like, They'll make, like, a headband and then put lace on it, and then they'll be like, that's a piece, and it wins something. So maybe I should just, like, stop worrying about how intricate my designs are and do, like, two a week, and then I'll make it within, like, three weeks. I'll just, I'll just do that. That sounds like fun. At this point, I don't even care if I get awards, even though the, the seniors last year, the conservatory seniors, swept every single gold key. So thank you for that, for making the... The standard like impossible to beat it's impossible because i know us and we are good but we are not that good last year seniors were freaking amazing oh my god i looked up to them so much and the fact that we are now the seniors in the studio scares me but enough of me rambling about medals let's see what else what else happened today's wednesday right yeah it's so weird like when i didn't go to school just i feel like i lost a day in my week which is like a good and bad thing i did get sleep but I don't know, it was weird not being at school today. Um, did I do anything? Oh, oh, well, did I, I feel like, no, no, it was Tuesday. Did I put this in my Monday video? I'm not sure, but I went on a very, very romantic date to the Secretary of State yesterday. God, stupid boy, lost his license. He didn't, like, lose it, but... He, he had like a speeding ticket or something, so then when he had to go into court and like figure that deal out, they didn't give him his license back, like they had to take it for a verification or whatever, and then they forgot to give it back. So we had to go to the Secretary of State and sit there for like an hour and a half. <sighs> well, he got his new license, I'm like, am I not the best girlfriend ever? I am, because I just sat there and did my Shakespeare. But then we like went for a walk and did things and like walked around and it was fun, so guess that kind of makes up for it a little bit um tomorrow i'm going out with my girlfriend yay i always have to designate at least one day a week to be like a girl day because you always need your girl time especially me i'm just like i don't know i never really had that many girlfriends before so now the fact that i do is kind of the most amazing thing ever to me like i don't know i guess in middle school i had a lot of friends but none of them were really close friends it was just like a lot of friends and then the first, like, freshman, sophomore year, I had a lot more guy friends than girlfriends, and that was, like, cool, you know, it's kind of fun being chill and being considered a bro, kind of, but there is something to be said for having really close girlfriends, and it's quite nice. So I still haven't um, figured out what we're gonna do. Maybe we'll get, like, s'mores or something, you know, at Kosi, they have the little s'mores kit. I want to get one of those for home, because I tried using a candle once and my mom got upset. And then I tried, we have a gas stove, so I tried to do that, but apparently that's not okay either. So yeah, we don't have a fireplace. Well, we do, but we don't use it. And it, it would be very impractical to try and, like, light a fire just to have s'mores, you know. 
ah, here, here I go again. I'm up to like 9 minutes 50 seconds just talking. I don't know why I can't do this usually. I don't know. Usually I just like don't have as many things to talk about or I, they don't come as easily. But yeah, let's just not do punishments for long videos because I feel like both of us. Sometimes you just have a lot to say or sometimes you just have a lot of free time and you're feeling quite talkative, which I feel like is a lot of the time. But anyways, um, anything interesting gonna be happening this week? Tomorrow's Thursday, color day. Ha, huh, we have to wear our blazers and stuff. That means I can't wear a cute sweater, how disappointing. Um, Friday we have a field trip, we're going, a gov field trip. We're gonna go to a courthouse and like see people get prosec persecuted? Persecuted, prosecuted, is prosecuted a word? Do they, I don't think they mean the same thing. Whatever, we're gonna watch people go to jail is basically what we're gonna do. I think it's gonna be kind of depressing though because the age range is like 18 to 24 so these are really young people and I don't know whether okay I honestly don't know what we're learning exactly about like the court of law I feel like maybe they're just trying to scare us into like not doing drugs and stealing cars and stuff like that but why would I do that when I can just do that in GTA like I can steal a Ferrari and deal a coke and make money and get away with it in GTA so I mean why would I need to do that in real life Video games are a good thing. Um, I have calc homework to do. And I have a Shakespeare test. First thing in the morning tomorrow that I haven't studied for. Though I guess I'm pretty good with English, so I can just kind of let that one slide. <sighs> How am I tired? I got so much sleep today. I have, I've had like the worst headache all day. I'm not sure why. Maybe it was because like when I ran it was pretty cold. And so sometimes I get a headache when it's super cold out and I don't have proper like head protection but I'm just really not a hat person I've tried on like beanie I want to wear beanie so bad they look so cute I'm gonna continue to attempt to find a beanie that works with me but I've tried berets too and those do not work at all like oh my god I wish I were the kind of person who could like rock a beret and dark lipstick I'm actually trying um, I'm gonna consider like dark maroon lipstick I feel like it's a lot it's, probably would only go with certain outfits I'm not sure because like red lipstick like fire truck red does not work on me it's it's bad it does not look good in any way but i'm thinking maybe like with my skin tone a maroon-ish dark one will work because i got the prettiest color it's called velvet teddy i feel like me did i mention this i think i probably mentioned this a while ago but it was a while back um it's like a really neutral color but i kind of want to try lipstick that pops you know it's fun to do things yawning again i should i should get sleep at some point i should okay maybe i'll just wrap this up here because i can't think of much more to say another easy night for me just like one video clip but look at me doing so well so i guess i'll do my math homework and contemplate some really shitty metals designs and submit those to scholastics because that is how i do I need to show you this video about cuttlefish, it's really amusing, so I think I might like link it in the description box perhaps? I think I'll do that. Yeah, you need to watch that video about cuttlefish. I'm so weird. Okay, alright. Bye!